Today we are going to be unboxing the Karatomi Beyblade Burst B67 Random Booster Volume 5 Number 8 15th Anniversary Jaseel Shield Central Press Defense Type So, as you guys can see this is the Jaseel here B08 Number 8 and I am just getting the nostalgic feeling here, guys. Oh my goodness, from the plastic era, the original, the OG era. Wow. This is just beautiful. They actually went out of the way and brought back their seal. This is beautiful. So, I'm gonna stay right here, guys, and I'm gonna bring you guys to the close up. So, we'll start out with here the layer. Get a little bit of focus. There we go. So all we can see is, compared to the original one, the clubs are shorter, unfortunately. But again, they've done this so because high recoil doesn't match with in burst. The higher recoil, the more chance for it to burst, unless you have god teeth like Trigger. But even then, it's better to have a slope design than a high recoil one to stop you. So besides that, they pretty much got the spot on. But I'll show the comparison um, when the blade's all finished. So we'll move on to the teeth here. The teeth are pretty good. Whoa. Come on, focus there. That is pretty good teeth. Wow. You know, probably even use this as an attack type layer. Okay. So, then we have central here. Nothing special about central, just a repeating part. Then we have the green press driver. That's released for this guy. So, if you want, if your favorite color is green, get a hold of this guy. And if you like the driver press. Okay, now we'll go to the blade all finished. And here we go, here's the comparison between the two. Now as I stated before, the clubs are shrank, but that's for burst reasons. Other than that, they look pretty much the same. Awesome job, Takara Tomy. Thank you. Here's the bottom between the two. We have the metal balls, but no metal balls on the burst version, unfortunately. Though this is a ball base tip for the form. But that's also one reason I don't understand why they just didn't use weight from Zillion Zeus, as that is a ball. Okay, now we're going to do a test spin here. So let's start the clock, our timer. Three, two, one. One minute and 21 seconds. Okay, now we're going to be doing a test battle here, and we'll start out with Lost Longinus. So here we go. They're still going first. Three, two, one. And unfortunately, Lost Gynus, or Lost Longinus, took the win with clicks left on it. Oh, about to burst. One click left, so three clicks. Here we go. Again, three, two, one. And Lost Guinness takes the win. Spins, no clicks on Drasil and Lost Guinness. Lost Long Lost Longinus. One click. 
So now we'll go on to Trigger. Okay, so I'm we'll launching Trigger first because it's a stamina type. Three, two, one. And Drigger takes the win with a spin finish, as usual. And no clicks, as usual. Drasil, one click, looks like. Let's see here. One, yep. Yeah, the, it's not as it's more clickish and not as sticky as Drigger. So Drigger definitely has a better team. Okay, here we go again. Three, two, one. Spins with no clicks and your seal, no clicks. That's pretty good. Okay, before we end the testing here, I want to try out your seal, shield, heavy, extreme. So, I'll be using the Hasbro launcher because there's not much recoil or jerk for it. It's just a smooth launch. Three, two, one. One click to trigger. And there you go, guys. That concludes my unpackaging for Drasil Central Press. And yeah, you can leave a comment in the comment section of what do you guys think of this blade and how Dakar Tomy has changed it for burst. And yeah, guys, unfortunately, I don't think this one is good for attack, but I think more testing would be nice to do. And yeah, I would recommend this for a collector's purpose for right now. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So this is Blader Zio signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.